Every night I've been thinking about this moment, you know, like the first game back is going to be amazing and uh, and I've been feeling a lot of support from from the fans ever since it happened and it means a lot to me, you know. When this happens to you, the moment, you know, so many thoughts go through your head, you know, like um, how bad is it, hopefully it's not something big. Am I going to be able to play basketball again? So I was uh, a little bit scared in the beginning, but then uh, after going to the, the the surgery and stuff, I, I felt that you know I was going to come back stronger than ever. And I wrote on my Instagram that this was not going to be my last game with Valencia. Alegrem no da que da que torni no només la tria Girona, sinó ja aquest partit l'anirem graduant poc a poc perquè vagi entrant i que vagi agafant cada cop confiança, però, però la veritat és que avui ha estat el ratu que ha estat a pista ha estat molt bé. I'm more hungry than ever to be playing basketball again and um, the fire is, is more than ever, so uh, I'm, I'm eager to prove myself again. Martín se lesiona el último partido contra Basconia, eh, al día siguiente le hace las pruebas, eh, le opera una semana después y a los dos días de operarse está trabajando ya, no ha tenido malos días, ha tenido momentos evidentemente de bajón como todo el mundo, pero siempre con una sonrisa, siempre llegaba, ponía su música, la famosa canción de Nino Bravo era su canción cuando acababa cada entrenamiento desde que ha estado en el gimnasio. Con jugadores como él y sobre todo con personas como él pues se pasa muy rápido. You know, Julio and Manu have, have been incredible, uh, as well as uh, Adri and, and, and Joan, you know, and Sergio and everybody on the staff. I, I spent so much time with them last nine months and uh, they have been like my family from, from day one. I think I'm, I might marry um, Julio if, if, if it doesn't work out with my wife, you know. I think we have to be very happy because it has been seen that he has been in exceptional conditions. Exceptionales. Ha sido un proceso duro, pero ha tenido momentos muy, muy divertidos. Martín es un tío que lo veis muy serio, islandés, frío, pero que va, que va, todo lo contrario. Está acostumbrado al calor valenciano ya. Yeah, the last two months were the hardest for sure, because I was doing everything on the court. I was running, I was doing the moves. Um, you know, the preparation for me before this game didn't start on game day. It started one week before, you know, thinking about what I was going to do on the court. I just forgot about the, the injury and I just got in the moment and uh, it was an amazing game to come back to win Fenerbahce at home, one of the best teams in Europe. And I almost cried after the game, just, you know, so many emotions. Nine and a half months out, waiting for this moment to come, having a good game, winning the game, but at the same time, after those six minutes on the court, I was seeing stars because I was, I was so tired. And, uh, Uh, hopefully I can I can build on this performance going on. Y ahí tenemos eh, buenas noticias. Nos gusta ver que los lesionados de, de larga duración, sobre todo, eh, se recuperan. Sientes que, que has hecho bien tu trabajo y que el jugador, eh, en parte, gracias a todo el equipo que, que ha estado con él estos nueve meses, eh, ha, ha vuelto a, a ser eh, quien era. Mucho orgullo. O sea, sobre todo eh, me emociono porque es alegría, ya no tanto por el jugador, porque, porque también, pero sobre todo eh, por la persona. Te alegras por él a nivel profesional, evidentemente, porque sabes que es importante para él, pero te alegras personalmente porque si hay un jugador que se merezca que le vaya bien las cosas, te puedo decir que ese es Martín Germanson.